think one of one of I, I know who it was, um, a guy named Joe Espinoza, thought when he got there, thought his name was Joe Mussolini <laughs> and not Mussolini. So he called him. So he called Joe the Don. And so then the Don, Joe, he made his AIM screen name the Don. And so we all called him the Don. So that's how that's how that goes. Yeah. And he's like a early version of the uh, situation from uh, – <laughs> Jersey Shore, you'd say? Like, no, I wouldn't. Jim Tan. No, I wouldn't. No. no. I did I did, I did. did sit in a sauna a couple weeks ago. I was exciting. I was fired up that he had a sauna in his basement. Did it have infrared thing on there to get tanned? Yeah. I mean, he's a family man now, you know. Jim Tan. I mean, it's more like, it's more like diapers, laundry. Kerry you know, is not playing work, along. Shovel. I'm not. I'm not playing. I'm not falling into the Max <laughs> Max's tricks. Did the sauna have an infrared light so he can tan? Yes or no? No. Let me ask you this question after if the olympic games happen mm-hmm. and there's a world championships was it timmy two months after that three months okay so if you if you medal then that world team spot is for you okay at that at that olympic weight but sure if you if you're in a medal match at the olympic games and you're at that either at the same weight class, the Olympic weight, or move to a non-Olympic weight. You're in the medal match, and you let's say you take fifth. Do you think you should have a bye to the finals a month after at trials, or do you think having a bye to the semifinals is fair? Well, let me first say this, Tim. I can confirm that I was Papa Bear at Northern Michigan. So uh, Max's generation, they, I could tell them what to do, and you know they do well, it. I was the hitman. I listened to you guys. You guys well, carried out hits, and I, you and Kirby and and Fisher. Yeah. Well, you know? I mean, but like not not just them. Like I mean, you know, you know Kirby and Fisher, they kind of like they kind of stuck to themselves in a lot of ways. But like I I invoke my opinion on a lot of things, and I'm gonna invoke my opinion on here, like. As a freaking athlete, man, you're an athlete, right? You should not be focused on any of this. Like the only thing that like caught me off guard is you said you hadn't been doing pull-ups lately. It's like, what the heck, man? I do a lot of band stuff. Well, what the – do freaking pull-ups, man. You're going to train – you're going to be an Olympic champ? You better be able to do 40 pull-ups. <laughs> like what are we talking about? You're talking oh, about here, your, Let me pause you, you right there because I get into this argument all the time with my heavyweights. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it. I, I, no, you're not allowed to talk. Do freaking pull-ups, man. Like stop worrying about stupid procedures and do pull-ups. Now, Tim's allowed to ask me about the procedure, but you're not because you're an athlete. And Tim's Tim's a reporter and I'm I'm a I'm technically a fan. So, you're not allowed to know. You're not allowed to care. Or worry about it. All your job is is to freaking get your hand raised. That's it. And how I you're gonna get your and how you're gonna get your hand raised is doing pull ups and rope climb. If you're not doing those two things, then you just might as you know stick your hands underneath your seat because <laughs> that's all you're doing. So. I feel like you didn't spank a kid tonight. You just took that anger out on me. Yeah, sure. You're yeah. like you're like Coach Red. I wrestled him. I wrestled him. We wrestled. Taught, taught Jack, my oldest one, underhooks the other day. So, yeah, he had his first his oh, first rest thing. his first wrestling match the other day. Um, it was like a ten minute long wrestling match with, like, not in real life, but like uh, we have friends, um, and they have a boy. He's a little younger than Jack, 
but about the same. And they wrestled pretty well. Like the first go is like pretty even. And then uh, then Jack wanted to put it on a singlet, so they put on singlets. So it was fun. It was fun to watch him. But so after that, I was like trying to show him underhooks. So we were working on his underhooks. But you know what he can do at age of five? He can climb a rope. So really, he's not worrying about he's not he's not worried about procedures. So. <laughs> oh, at the, at the end of the day, you gotta win. You gotta win. I'm just saying. Well, to just win. What's it matter? What's it just win? I'm just, I'm just trying to talk with you. I, I, I'll talk, I'll I mean, talk with you about... this is my job, and I understand what my job is. What, what's I your job? I was jo- just asking you your opinion. Huh? My opinion is, like, I, I don't know, do pull-ups and, and, and climb rope. Oh, that's the Coach Regner. That's not the wrestler Regner. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, maybe there's an issue what's there, the then. What's the difference? Well, he's not... Oh. When I'm, when I direct a question, it's, it's taken differently. I'm not... I'm not complaining about the procedure. I'm asking you your thoughts. Well, you're not not complaining. Come on, Carrie. 